Dr. Zakir, I would call upon you to resolve one of the most common disputes in the Muslim Ummah during the month of Ramadan regarding the number of rakat that are prayed in the Taraweh or the Qiyamah Layl or the night prayer. Is it eight or should it be 20? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 472, he said that when a person asks that, how should you offer the Qiyamul Layl? So the Prophet said that he should offer Qiyamul Layl in two rakat, followed by two rakat, followed by two rakat, followed by two rakat, and so on. And when he feels that dawn is approaching, he should offer one rakat. So all the rakat become bitter, become odd. That means you can pray as many as you wish. Later on, have a one number, an odd number, so that everything becomes odd. So as far as the number of rakats are concerned, you can pray as many as you wish. But as far as the practice of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is concerned, this mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Tahajjud, hadith number 1147, the Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet while offering Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, used to always offer 11 rakat, not more than 11 rakat. And this is to do even other months. That means 8 rakat of Qiyamul Layl and 3 rakat of Vitar. So it becomes 8 plus 3, 11 rakat. And there are various other hadith which always say that all the hadith that we find of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whether it be Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, all of them said that he prayed 8 rakat or this 11 rakat. 11 includes 8 plus 3. And further, the same hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number 2, in the book of Tahajjud, hadith number 1147, he has Aisha with her when she says that the Prophet always offered 11 rakat in Ramadan and even other times. And she said that he used to offer 4 rakat. And I cannot narrate to you the time, the beauty, and the length of these rakat. And he used to again offer 4 rakat. And I cannot narrate to you the beauty and the length of these four rakat, and then used to offer three rakat, indicating eight plus three. But if you read the practice of the Salaf al-Salihin, of our predecessors, of the Sahabas, the Tabain, Tabi Tabain, we find from records that they prayed 11 rakat, some prayed 13, some prayed 19, some prayed 23, some prayed 36, some prayed 39 rakats also. And if you read the Musannaf Ibn Abi Shaiba, volume number two, page number 165-166, it says that the Tabain, when they offered the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, which is known as Tarawi, they offered 20 rakat. Some place it says that they offered 36 rakat. So as far as the rakats are concerned, as the Prophet, the call, the commander of the Prophet was that read two rakat, two rakat, two rakat, two rakat, as much as you wish, then one. And as I mentioned earlier in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 472, volume number one, you can read as many rakats as you want in two to two and then one. But if you want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet, the Prophet always offered eight rakat plus three. So what is permissible? As many as you wish. Eight, 10, 20, 36, no problem. And then followed by three with her. But the Prophet offered eight plus three, 11 but you can offer as many as you wish. Well, of course, you've mentioned that one could pray as much as you like in terms of uh, the number of rakah, um, but the sunnah is eight. This is what you've said. That's it. The Prophet offered eight. Alhamdulillah. But he permitted you can offer as many as you wish. Right, right. So as many as you like, but the sunnah is eight. However, um, if a person or a group of people pray eight in one hour, and another group of people pray 20 in one and a half hours, which would you say is the best? The theory of question has got uh, two portions. One is the number of rakat, other is the length. As I mentioned in the earlier answer, that the longer it is, the better it is. The prophet said that. And the other is that any rakat is fine, prophet offered eight. Now you know, eight and one hour is better, or? 20 and one and a half hour is better. Before I answer this question, I'll tell you that if a person is offering his salah in a mosque, which is praying in congregation eight rakat, he should not get up and pray additional 12 and make it 20. 
because he feels 20 is better. Neither should a person who is offering Taraweeh or the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan offers his Qiyamul Layl in a mosque which is offering 20 rakat in Jamma. He should not offer eight rakat and walk out because the Prophet said that a person who prays along with the Imam and ends with the Imam, it is as though he has offered the Salah for the whole night. So we should be more tolerant and agree that the Prophet allowed all types. If a person wants to offer 20, if he's offering in a mosque of eight rakat in Jamaat, of eight rakat in Jamaat, he can go home and offer the remaining balance of the 20, that's 12 rakat. As far as the question is concerned, which is better, eight rakat and one hour, or 20 rakat and one and a half hour? Here again, as I said, that the call, the commandment of the Prophet is that you can offer as many as you wish, and the longer it is, the longer it is better. But the Prophet offered long and eight rakat. So if you ask me which is better, both acceptable, but the better would be that if he offers the same length, but with eight rakat. Same length, eight rakat, whether it be one hour, two hour, or three hours. So if you ask me one hour with eight rakat is better, or one hour with 20 rakat is better, I would prefer one hour with eight rakat. But as your question is, if it's one hour with eight rakat, and one and a half hour with 20 rakat, I would prefer 20 rakat, one and a half hour. Because the call of the Prophet is longer, the better which you're doing. And again, the call is you can offer as many as you wish. So I would prefer 20 rakat and one and a half hour rather than eight rakat and one hour. And that's what we see in the Harmain. There are 20 rakat, but they have long for approximately two hours there. And in the other mosques, they have eight rakat and shorter duration. But in both the Harmain, Masjid, Haram in Makkah and Medina, mashallah, they are for long hours. As it is the Harmain, you get multiple rewards. You get 1,000 times in the Masjid al and 100,000 in Masjid al wow. Makkah. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Zakir, regarding that uh, superb answer.